good morning learners. Welcome to today's lesson. We are going to go through uh, direct and indirect speech. Direct, I said last time, direct speech, we are all talking about exact words that somebody said. Here, exact words. These are exact words that somebody said. Exact words that were said by someone. This is direct speech. Now, in direct speech, in direct now, in direct speech, these are reported words, reported words. Reported words. Reported words meaning, reported words meaning, someone has already spoken and you are only trying to say what that person was telling about. Example, in a sentence, example, we have grandfather saying that, in a, in a, let's try to look at grandfather said, grandfather said, comma, I am resting. Then, you put your full stop there. This is direct speech. This is direct speech where you say you use speech marks. Where we say you use speech marks, this is direct speech. I am resting. Now, we want to change this sentence into indirect speech. These are reported words. We want to change them into uh, indirect speech. Indirect speech will be, grandfather said that, grandfather said that he was resting. You are only reporting what grandfather said. You are only reporting what grandfather said. Grandfather said that he was resting. I am becomes he. It's not something that is happening now. It happened maybe earlier in the morning or he has just told you now. Maybe someone has sent you to go and call the grandfather and now you come back and we are reporting what grandfather had told you. It is not happening now. You are just reporting what grandfather said. Grandfather said that he was resting and you put, there is no speech mark here in this statement. There is no speech mark in the indirect. This is indirect. Indirect speech. There are no speech marks. Speech marks only are indirect. Here, I am resting is where we only use direct speech. But when we come to indirect, we do not use the speech marks. So, there are other words usually change. When you are in indirect speech, when you are in direct speech, they usually change while you are in uh, indirect. So these words, let's uh, see some of the words here is direct. Here we have indirect. Which words can change while we are reporting? Example, here we have I, I, I. Here we have I. I will be he said or she said. It depends. I am resting, he is resting, or she is re she is resting. Then we have we. We becomes they while you are reporting. They said. They said. We have you. You is singular. You is singular. You in singular, you in singular becomes she from he uh, her or he. Then we have uh, you in plural. When you are talking about many here, you in plural becomes they becomes they. Uh, or them, they or them. Then we have uh, 
me, me becomes him or her, him or her. We have uh, us, us, us becomes them. Then we have our becomes there. ETC. These are just example of words when they are used in in singular, when they are used in direct, the way they are being used in direct will change when we are talking about indirect speech. Here I've said the example, I am resting. When we come to indirect speech, it has turned to he was resting. He was resting. Some words change. Like he was, he is resting, or I am resting, he was resting. So let's look at another example. Another example. Another example. While changing the plural, the, we are changing the direct into indirect. Mary said, we are traveling by bus. Mary said, Mary said, we are traveling by bus. This statement is in, in direct, it is in direct speech. It is already in direct speech. Uh, it is in direct speech, so we have to put the speech marks. Mary said, we are traveling by bus. See where I've placed my speech marks? Here, I've put a comma. I've started my sentence with a capital letter. This is a must. You have to start your sentence with a capital letter here. We are traveling by bus. I put a full stop there. Then I put my uh, ended with closing marks. This is statement is direct. This statement is direct. Now we want to change our sentence from direct to indirect. Can we change our sentence from direct to indirect? What would it be? Remember, consider we here. We should be they. We should be they. Now, Mary said, Mary said, Mary said, Mary said, Mary said, Remember to use that, say that, Mary said we are reporting, Mary said that, we is they, so we say, Mary said that, they, they, are also changes, are changes that they were, are, because there are many, they were traveling, by bus. Mary said that they were traveling by bus because they are many are. Are now becomes what? They were traveling by bus. They were traveling by bus. Don't forget this, that. Don't forget that. Mary said that. Immediately after saying you put that. That is when now we start changing the words. Now it's that you start changing the, these words. But remember, don't forget this that. Mary said that. Remember, grandfather said that. In our first example, we said, grandfather said that. Mary said that. Before you put your words, before you start explaining your words, you have to put that. That is when now you start changing. They were traveling by bus. Another example is the driver said, the driver, the driver is very careful, said George. The driver is very careful. 
The driver is very careful, said George. The driver is very careful, said, said George. The driver is very careful, said George. This is direct speech. Direct, it has not been changed. This is direct speech. So the driver, the driver is very careful. Put a comma, then closing mark, saying George. And here you have to put a full stop there. Those are very important when you are dealing with direct speech. Now let's try, let's change this into, uh, let's change this into uh, in direct speech. Let's say your statement is to direct speech. You start by saying, George said that. You start with the person. George said, I've said remember to always put that. Always remember to put the word that in that sentence. George said that uh, the driver, the driver, is usually changes to is usually changes to walk to was is usually changes to was is usually changes to was George said that the driver was very careful you put a full stop there George said that the driver the driver, that is always there. Then you start there. That the driver was very careful. Was very careful. Is has changed to was. Um, I'll, I'll add some, that is why I'm not wrong this. I want to add some more words here. We have is, we have is, our theirs is, I'm saying was, is, was, or can be is. When you are talking, this is singular, is, this is singular, is in singular becomes was, but when you are talking about many, can be is, wa, is, wa. We also have other words, I've talked about you are in plural, you are, our is there, let me talk about you are. You are this is singular you can't his hands. Then we could talk about yours, yours in plural. You are in plural. This is in singular. This is in plural. Becomes theirs. Becomes there. Like that. So, these are some words. When you are talking about these words, George said that George is one person. So, George said that the driver is. Is is in all this you are all one person is so it is in singular becomes was when it comes to this statement it changes to was so that is how we translate you have to remember this table always remember this table that we have talked about what is indirect always changes to indirect when you're talking about indirect it must change you can't leave it the same it was and this is how you change it so Exercise, exercise F, exercise F, exercise F, spotlight again, exercise F, exercise F, page, this is page 99, page 99, in spotlight. spotlight so that marks the end of our lesson 
and direct and direct speech. Remember the words usually change. Those words that usually change while talking about them in direct and change them to indirect. So, see.